Corbin. Uh, he's a writer, a singer, uh, uh, but also a song composer. And um, Stefan, um, from 2012, as you may know in France, our parliament uh, passed uh, a bill on marriage, uh, gay marriage. Stefan Corbin, you uh, make this dramatic moment something well, more positive uh, by creating a show called Les Funambules, um, which is um, uh, a, a set of, uh, of several songs uh, who fights, which fights against homophobia. And uh, once again, you participated, you contributed to improve uh, LGBT visibility, you contributed to make people uh, more open, more inclusive, more respectful uh, for all and including for LGBT. And uh, that's why we are very proud and, um, and honored to award you this Tolerance Prize because we think it's important to highlight efforts and uh, what artists do to fight uh, homophobia. Uh, we are gathered here today in Warsaw. It's my first time in Poland. My maternal great grandparents were from Poland and they left it a long time ago to come to live in France. I have a special emotion to think that a part of my origins comes from this country where I receive today this highly symbolic award. I receive this prize with honor, but it highlights above all the hard work of the 400 volunteers from the collective Les Funambules who worked on this project I initiated five years ago. France, as you said, uh, was living in unconceivable violence created by the law allowing same-sex marriage. As many people, I was shocked, even upset, by this return to the past. The words, the physical abuses, the increase of everyday ordinary homophobia. What happened in France is not acceptable, but it's nothing compared to what happens every day in so many countries all over the world. My ambition with this project has been to respond to violence with sweetness, to anger with music, which tells what are truly the homosexuals' fates. With the idea that the more our stories will be known, the less they will be scared. This is my conception of activism. Each one can do a small thing with his means, his abilities. Each one of us can make a contribution to build a world a little less brutal. It is by associating our strength that we get stronger. With Le Finambule, we only make songs. And I'm truly admirative of the work of numerous associations which work every day in the fight against homophobia. But songs have this ability to assist our roots, to bring us reassurance with a smile, or with the guarantee that we are not alone. If songs don't change the world, they can highlight an emotion, a fate, or simply help us not to be ashamed, not to have to hide, and to accept who we are with pride. Within the numerous testimonies of support and affection we have received, I remember especially the, the one of his, this father dragged to one of our council by friend who came to me at the end of the show to say I didn't know nothing about homosexuality, I only heard sordid cliches. Today, after hearing your songs, if one of my kids tell me he's gay, <coughs> I simply would take him in my arms and tell him I love him. I also remember this young singer, Dorian, who didn't want to go public with his homosexuality and who, within time, 
decided to come out on stage, beginning his text with these deeply moving words. Mom, you don't need to be scared for me anymore. In fact, I'm not scared anymore myself. I would finally like to pay tribute to this family of hearts of my collective Les Funambules. I have built in it unbreakable bounds, lived wonderful emotions. I loved, I cried, been discouraged many times and always found shoulders to lean on. I have been amazed by the extraordinary strength and the infinite generosity that the human beings have when they are united. And of course, the entire team of the Terencia Prize, the Association of Homophobie, whose values and daily actions are unfortunately necessary, and which whom we are going to keep moving forward and in hand. And to say how happy I am to share this prize with an artist so free, creative, and committed as Ocean Rosemary. Thank you.